The oldest major in men's golf returns to Royal Liverpool Golf Club this July for the 13th time, but like you've never seen it before. A brand new hole enters the history books, a par three, hole number 17. Say hello to little I. At just over 130 yards, this beautifully presented short par three is set against the backdrop of the D estuary and will no doubt provide plenty of drama and entertainment as the penultimate hole for the championship. So what's, what's new? Right. Tell, me, tell me what's new here, 17th so, tee. The hole used to play from up in this dune here, right back down to here where the green was. Uh, so what Martin Ebert's done is they've flipped it around. Uh, so now we're playing 130, what does it say, 130 something yards? 143 from here. From, from here uh -huh. uh, to a 300 square metre green, which is, is very, very small. Uh, and there's danger 360. False front of the green, so if you end up short, you're coming back into the sand scrape. Oh, sorry, I thought that was the green. Oh, you, you must have thought that was the worst hole ever. I was thinking, this is This is a bit crap. weird. <laughs> I was like, what? Turn around. <laughs> There she is! That's brilliant. Wow. Yeah. Okay, big difference. Yeah. I was like, this is bringing in so that grandstand. Because you were gunning it at 140, like, it must have grown because I can't remember it being that long, but oh, I'll roll okay. with it. Let's, let, me, let me give you the correct yardage. And we're, it's 96 yards. Today, but they'll be playing 130 something, 135. Right. And we've actually, you can see, we've sh saved a bit of this back tee of the front, sorry, front tee of the back. Mm. Uh, so we can possibly hand play it as a 100 yard hole if we wanted to. Amazing. Uh, and it's that's going like to postage stamp vibes. Uh, well, when we get up there, you'll see we've got a postage stamp vibe bunker as well. But like a uh, I'm so glad you've actually turned around and seen it now because when I'm looking, when I'm looking this way, I'm thinking. I was thinking this isn't quite. What draw I was it over expecting. the top of the Origins yeah, building. Yeah, thinking they're going to have a great view. Yes. In that, in that grandstand. But yeah, okay. now nah, this is the masterpiece here. You know, Martin Ebert design. Uh, the, the, the green sits up tabletop sharp uh, exit to your right and a postage stamp bunker false front so the ball can come back a uh, little pot bunker on the left and over the back is dead really but we're talking about the best players in the world here you know like you've got a really bad i mean that's a thin to get through the back which yeah. these guys don't do no. so and if the wind picks up we're right on the coast here so you're going to be very exposed judging the wind i think it's going to be and that very subtle change in elevation, you know, you're probably talking two, three yards of change in elevation and that can make a big difference between getting on the front or, as you say, hitting that false front and finding yourself in that bunker. And, and if we do have wet conditions working up to the open, then you're going to start to bring backspin into play. Uh -huh. uh, and if, you, if you're hitting, obviously, a club that demands a 100 yard, 130 yard club is going to backspin. Uh, so you could have balls coming off the front. Uh, and so it could be really cheeky actually to put a very back right pin in. Huh. If, you've, if you've got to finish birdie birdie to win the open, you need to try and access that somehow uh, because it's down the last isn't a guaranteed birdie either. Is it enough? Oh, it's enough. Stay up. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, that was pretty good for distance. The little but probably not best for closest to the pin. A little bit of room inside it, but uh, it's quite a tough yard. It's 97 yards, smooth 52. Probably plays 100, I think, with that little up, change in elevation. Be the number. Stay there. Stay there. Oh, and I think that's the possibly the beauty of this hole is you don't know where that is no until idea. you get up there. So there's that anticipation. Yeah. Yeah. It's a chance it stayed up on the green, but mm -hmm. because it it bounced kind of to the right a little bit, it may have run down into a little swale over there. Is that swale over there? There's a there's a there's a swale and then a bunker. Yeah. Oh crumbs. Take your be a, be an optimist and take your putter okay, up. I'll do, hope it's on the green. not good news both Bledge and I have missed the green which means we're gonna to have to do another challenge down the last hole but 
once I'm up here, I can just see, you know, I, I would feel more confident going back to the tee now and trying to aim for the heart of the green. It's a heart of the green shot all day long. Because if you're just even a wee bit off, I was just right at the flag. It was a pretty rubbish strike. And it's fizzled its way all the way down this huge swale and it's been gobbled up by this bunker. So it's definitely heart of the green, two putt for par, or if you're lucky, you might sink one for birdie. You do not want to be getting yourself into the trouble that surrounds this green. It's a giant coffin, but I'm at the back of it, which is horrible. This is going to take everything I've got on a downslope, back of the bunker, huge face, very much an elevated pin from here, but ever so slightly back into the breeze, which is about the only thing going in my favour. Okay, say a prayer for me here, Blige. That's remarkable. <laughs> Has it stopped? <laughs> it did, yeah. Great <laughs> shot. Whoa! You've been taking them on today. I know. Touch like an elephant. <laughs> Oh, it Come did on. move. That would have been a great up and down. Oof. Gosh. All right, she drops one. The 97 yard par three. Tricky. Go on. Yes. It's a great three. Well See, done. It's, it's not that bad, is it? No. Nah. It's a great <sighs> hole. I think, you know, there'll be lots of people talking about it. A great amphitheatre were to sit in around it. I think this will provide plenty of entertainment with just the, you know, short par threes are brilliant, aren't they? Because they provide so much drama, so much intensity for such a short shot. Mm. And this is a place to be, definitely. I think on the on the first uh, the first days of the Open, I'd be if I was a spectator, I'd be rushing to get in there uh, and staying because you get to see uh, everyone play through here and the, the drama would just be unbelievable. You almost kind of see it as a bit of waste management type atmosphere, Rushing possibly. In, yeah. Hopefully, no beer glasses thrown on the green because it'd be up to us a lot to clean up. But we know that the British. Uh, 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 public are very well behaved when it comes they to golf. They are, yeah, they're a respectful bunch of <laughs> yeah. open.